Yes. Now we'll discuss about the lacrimal apparatus. Here, this is diagram of the face. This is eyebrow. Here is eyelid. This is parasitic section of the eyelid. Here is eyeball. This is eyeball. It has sclera and cornea. This is eyelid. Here is the skin, fascia of the eyelid, and the muscles, arbitrary oculi muscle, and levator palpebrae superior muscle. This is present in the eyelid. Here is gland of G, gland of mole, here is gland of G, here is gland of mole. Here and this this gland is here is tarsal plate. This is tarsal plate and this is tarsal gland and mebonian gland. Here is position of conjunctiva. Conjectiva, which is firmly adherent with the posterior surface of the eyelid. This is highly vascular. This is opaque here and it turns here and reflect on the eyeball. This is eyeball, it reflects on the eyeball. This part is known as bulbar conjunctiva, bulbar conjunctiva, and this part, this is known as palpebral conjunctiva. And this bulbar conjunctiva is very thin and transparent. Here is it is loosely attached. Here it is loosely attached, but here over the cornea it becomes anterior epithelial lining of the cornea. Here, so it is here firmly adherent and it converted to an anterior epithelial lining of the cornea. Between these two layers, this is space, this is known as conjectival cell, this is conjectival cell and here is folding of the conjectiva, this is folding, this is known as fornix, this is conjectival fornix. So lacrimal apparatus, lacrimal apparatus consists of the several structures which are responsible for secretion of the tear or lacrimal fluid and drainage of the lacrimal fluid. First of all, we will discuss about the lacrimal gland. If you enlarge this, here is This is upper eyelid, this is upper eyelid, this is lower eyelid, this is lid margin. This is lid margin. Here it has eyelashes in two rows. And also here is opening of small openings of the tarsal gland or meibonian gland. Here on the medial side there is small elevation that is known as
lacrimal papilla. This is lacrimal papilla. And in the center of this lacrimal papilla, there is a small opening. This is a small opening. This is known as lacrimal punctum. This is lacrimal punctum. This is lacrimal punctum. From here, this lacrimal punctum continues with the lacrimal canaliculi. Before discussing about the canaliculi, we will discuss here is position of This is lacrimal gland which is situated in the lacrimal fossa and superior side of the army here. It has two parts. This part is orbital part. This is deep part or orbital part and this is superficial part or contemporary part. This is orbital part, this is palpebral part. There are numerous ducts which are about 12 ducts. Six to eight arise from this part, about six arise in this part, six to eight. And this part around four to six. These ducts open here in the furnace. These ducts open in the lateral part of the furnace here. So here is portion of the furnace and the tunnel furnace here it opens. And with blinking of the eyelid, it spread over the whole area. And from here, this absorbed through this lacrimal punctum. This is a small opening here. So it has two parts. These are several ducts. It is supplied by lacrimal nerve. Secretomotor fibers, which is sensory nerve. Secretomotor uh, fiber to this reaches from the uh, lactamentary nucleus, which is situated in the pons. From pons, lactamentary nuclei fibers passes through nervous intermediates, then from nervous intermediates to facial nerve, then from facial nerve to branch, greater pectosal nerve, then nerve to pterygoid canal, then pterygopeltine ganglion. From pterygopeltine ganglion, this passes through maxillary nerve, then gyromedical temporal nerve. From gyromedical temporal nerve, it reaches to lacrimal nerve. So, detail of this uh, we will discuss later. So, uh, lacrimal nucleus fiber reaches up to here, which are secure to middle fiber. If removed, uh, the, this part, palpebral part is removed due to any region then this removal is equal to removal of the whole gland because all the ducts pass from this part passes through this part if this part is removed these ducts are also removed so removal of the palpebral part is equivalent to removal of the whole gland so this is lacrimal gland one part lacrimal ducts and another part of the Lacrimal apparatus is lacrimal papilla and lacrimal punctum. From here, this lacrimal canaliculi is a vertical part. This vertical part is 2 mm. This is 2 mm. And then there is horizontal part. This is horizontal part. It is 8 mm. So total length is about 10 mm. So this part opens into
This is tight. This is lacrimal set. It opens into lacrimal set. The length of lacrimal set is about 12 millimeter and transverse diameter is about 5 millimeter. It has fundus, it has body, it has neck, this constricted part of the neck. If you see here, it is separated in the uh, lacrimal groove. This is lacrimal groove. Here is position of the, this lacrimal sac. This is lacrimal sac. Here is vessels and nerves. Here is lacrimal fascia. This is lacrimal fascia. And here is muscle. Here is lacrimal part of articularis oculi muscle. This muscle also help in sucking up the tear from this by pulling this. So this is lacrimal sac. This lacrimal sac here is continued with this nasal lacrimal duct. This is nasal lacrimal duct. Length of nasal lacrimal duct is about 18 mm. It opens into inferior concha. Here is position of this. Here it opens into the inferior concha. Uh, uh, inferior neatus below the inferior concha that is inferior neatus and here is a wall of the mucus known as wall of Hessner this wall is present wall of Hessner which, which guards this uh, and prevents air going into uh, the middle of the from the middle of the So, this is all about the electrical apparatus. Sometimes this punctum is closed. This punctum is closed. This uh, can be easily opened by cylindrical process. A curved needle is inserted here, and direction of the needle is downward, then upward. Then push the uh, saline water, normal saline. Then, if there is any obstruction in this pathway, that become clear. So, this is all about the lacrimal apparatus. Thank you.